Hey guys, thanks a lot for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. I'm Caleb, and today in this video I am going to be forging a Damascus steel tonto. So starting out here, I'm just creating three billets of 15 and 20 and 1084 that I'm first going to forge weld together individually. I'm going to draw those out, and then I'm at the end when I'm done with that, I'm going to forge weld together all three billets into one larger billet, which I'm then going to grind a ladder pattern into. So this white stuff I'm sprinkling on this billet here is just borax detergent that I'm using as a flux to help ensure that my welds turn out. So I spared you guys all this grinding and here's a ladder pattern I ground into the billet. So I actually ended up cutting that final billet in half and used the other half for another project. So this is actually just one half of that billet you saw earlier. So I'm just working on drawing this thing out to the length I want here. So right now I'm just using a spring swage to help form the tang of my blade. So as you can see, the tang is starting to come along here. Just really working on getting that thing straight. Okay, so this tonto has gotten to the point where I actually need to start grinding off some of it. First I'm going to grind in the tonto point, then I'm going to grind down the entire perimeter uh, to get rid of all of the uh, weld flaws that may or may not be present. Okay, so I've cleaned the blade up a little bit on the bench grinder here, and as you can see, I brought in the shoulders a little bit for the hibaki to fit into, and I've ground down the tip move a bit so it has that characteristic tanto point and now I am just going to forge in the bevels that'll save me a lot of time on the grinder okay I'm gonna start forging in the bevels now As I continue forging in the bevels, the blade starts to develop a little bit of a back bow. So I just correct this by uh, hitting it a couple times with a 2x4. Uh, the 2x4 is soft enough so that it doesn't uh, decompress the edge at all and it does correct the back bow pretty good. Alright, so I got the blade looking like this right now. It still kind of looks roughly forged. I got the bevels all forged in. Um, the blade itself is about 8 inches long. Um, so now I have a little bit more profiling to do.
All right, so I got the profile looking pretty much how I want it. So now I'm going to start grinding the flats. All right, so I got the flats all ground down on both sides um, pretty evenly, and now it's time to start grinding in the bevels. center punch the area I'm going to start drilling. One thing I often do before I hit the drill press is just get the hole going a little bit with the hand drill. is always a good idea. Alright, now it's time for the heat treat. First I'm going to normalize the blade for a couple cycles, then I'm going to heat up my oil, and then I'm actually going to do the quench. So I'm just normalizing the blade here. I heated it up to a red color, and now I'm just going to let it cool down to a dull black. Okay, now I'm just heating up my oil. And here's the quench. While testing this thing, I can see that the file just skates right across it, so that means we have a hard blade. It's not cutting in at all here. Okay, now that the blade is heat treated, I'm now going to temper it at 400 degrees for three one-hour cycles. Okay, now that the blade is tempered, I'm going to clean it back up again with the grinder. Alright you guys, it's now time for the funnest part, hand sanding. Yeah. Yeah, I was obviously joking about that last part there. Hand sanding is by far the worst part of knife making. Yeah, sometimes it just seems like this step in the knife making process just lasts forever. But when you're finally done with it, it's totally worth all the effort. Okay, I'm now going to etch the blade in a dilution of 1 to 5 ferric chloride. So I'm just neutralizing the acid right here. So when I took the blade out of the ferric chloride, the whole blade was just super black. So uh, I'm just sanding it back here with uh, 2000 grit sandpaper. 
and uh, that really lightens up the uh, color here. But um, the trick is to just uh, sand really lightly. Okay, here's the blade after the etch, and I think it turned out pretty good. Hey guys, thanks a lot for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please make sure to hit like, subscribe, and check out part two of the Damascus Steel Tonto.